first of a series of troop videos that I'm going to be doing on this channel. Today we're looking at the Barbarian. The Barbarian's a basic level troop, he's a melee fighter, and he does an average amount of damage and has an average amount of health. The Barbarian is best used as a tank to absorb damage while your other units are the ones that are used to deal damage. The most common place you find the Barbarian is going to be in Barbarian Archer armies, which are typically used for low-level pushing or farming. He's cheap, and he's effective as a tank to provide support for your archers. Like most of the lower-level units, the Barbarian is very susceptible to splash damage. This is going to include the Wizard Towers, the Mortars, and the Giant Bombs. You need to be careful when deploying your Barbarians, because if you do deploy them in giant groups, they're going to get clumped up, and those splash defenses are going to destroy them. This chart shows the Barbarian's damage, hit points, and training costs as he progresses from levels 1 through 6. As you can see, his damage is much lower than his hit points, which shows that he's a tanking unit more than he is a damage-dealing unit. However, his damage is on par with that of the archers, and his damage shouldn't be ignored in large numbers, he can add up quite quickly. This chart shows the percent increase for the various statistics of the Barbarian. As you can see, going from level 1 to 2, he has the largest increases, but going from 5 to 6, the smallest. However, while going from 5 to 6, the cost increase is one of the most. This isn't to say that it isn't worth increasing him from level 5 to 6. It surely is. However, just keep in mind for you farmers out there that it is going to affect the ratio of resources that you need to get on each attack. Next, I wanted to discuss some basic tactics when using the Barbarian, the first of which is deployment tactics. As you can see here, I used a sweeping deployment where you kind of drag your finger across in a line, and it keeps the Barbarians a little bit spread out, but we'll have them target all of the buildings that are in that line. Using the sweep, you can either make one line or go back and forth a couple times, depending on how many guys you really want to lay down. You need to get a feel for how much damage your guys do versus what buildings you're attacking. And this is going to change every time you level your Barbarian up. The next type of drop I'm demonstrating here is just a press and hold, where you know you want to target one building, so you press and hold while targeting that building to drop off a bunch of guys in order to destroy that one building. It's useful if you're going for particularly, like, one storage. It makes your guys really susceptible to the splash damage, but if you really just need one building more, say you're at 49%, or it's a storage that has a lot of resources, it's a good way of getting it. Sometimes you want to stagger your deployment, so you deploy a clump, then stop, deploy another clump, so they don't get completely wiped out by the splash defenses while still targeting the same building. <laughs> In this clip, you're going to see barbarians being used as shields, in which you're going to deploy a line of barbarians and then a line of archers behind them. The barbarians are going to soak up the defensive damage, where your archers are going to come in and they're going to shoot at the defenses, which are targeting the barbarians. As you can see, once the first wave of barbarians was killed, I dropped another wave to continue soaking up that mortar fire and the clan castle troops, while my archers move in and still are able to continue doing damage. Barbarians make great shields for other troops, because the other troops provide the damage while the barbarians soak it up. If it wasn't for these barbarians here, these wizards would be being targeted by these mortars, and these archers would also be targeted by the mortars. But instead, the barbarians soak up that damage while the damage dealers are really able to do their job, and penetrate very far into this high Town Hall 8 level base. The final section of all these troop videos is going to be a little for fun attack where I just deploy an entire army of whatever troop I happen to be talking about. In this case, it happens to be Barbarians. Enjoy, and thanks for watching.